Welcome to a day in the life of a coding bootcamp student online. And I want to start with this video with an important message to everybody. This video is just a representation of a day. It's not a day by day, everything is the same, so it's unique. So let's start. Um, in this particular case, I went for a run. I really enjoy running most of the time. So once every other day, I'm trying to squeeze a quick run into my routine. I find that uh, beneficial for my health, my mental health, and actually helps me be more productive, more focused, more grounded, and so on. And matter of fact, that particular day when I was running, I actually reached 600 kilometers running using this app, which I love. When I'm done running, I come back have a quick shower and then I spend time playing with my daughter. Being a full-time bootcamp student, it takes a lot of time and at the same time being a parent also takes time. So I'm trying to find a balance between life, family and studying and profession and so on. So I try to in the morning at least one hour or hour and a half to play with my daughter before the morning lecture starts. So at about 7.55, I'll head to my office and turn on the computer and log in to join the Zoom meeting that we are using with our cohort, our coding bootcamp. Uh, we are using Zoom in this particular case. And my day starts uh, with about eight o'clock in the morning. We'll have a lecture and sometimes the lectures might be an hour, might be half an hour, might be two hours, three hours. It depends on what topic it is. In this particular case, we were learning Docker. As you can see, I'm trying to have breakfast as well and checking my uh, email really quickly before we start video lecture that we are watching every morning. And today you'll be learning about Docker Compose. So you might be asking, what does Docker Compose do for me? And I ask you back, what doesn't Docker Compose do for you? Docker Compose can set up containers, volumes, networks, and environment variables all in one committable file that can be brought up with a single command. You can build your entire full stack application and bring it up with one command. So this is a quick example of what is the video lecture about. We have a topic and we have an instructor introducing us to the topic. Most of the times, most of the cases I'm trying to code along, sometimes <laughs> that's successful, sometimes it's not. It depends on what else needs to be uh, implemented first. And in this particular case, something was not <laughs> as it should be. Once we are done watching the video lecture, then we are having time to ask questions about it. I have any questions okay, so for this one? So that's an, an image. And the image is Python and Alpine 3.7. It's kind of the version. Oh, uh, not really the version. It's more like it's Python plus Alpine. So, is it that we're using two images, or are we using one image? We're using one image. It's like the Python image that happens to have Alpine also. Okay. So let's say for just a like, random example, we wanted to do JavaScript. Uh huh. So we would find a JavaScript image. Like, uh, like, how do we know that we need Alpine with that as well, or something else? Oh, uh, I mean, it just depends on what your needs of, like, the application are. I know it's kind of a, uh, a, um, not a great answer, but I mean, so Rose just chose Alpine. It se seems like just because it's small and because Alpine does what we needed to do. A question, um, because it seems like this and maybe also the Python one had like stretch versions as well instead mm -hmm. of Python. Uh, instead of Alpine. Um, it seemed like what Rose, oh God, it was Rose, yeah. Was yeah, it, yeah. Um, was like Alpine is like the, and you were saying it was like the smallest sort of lightweight operating system. But is it that like Stretch has its own operating system as well? Or is Cool. Uh, any other questions? I think that was our only lecture video for the day. Yes, indeed. Um, but we have a couple projects. Um, all right, rooms are open. Once the morning lecture is done and all the questions were answered, then we are split into pairs to pair program. and. Usually, when it was something that we used JavaScript or Python, 
we will use the Visual Studio Code to do a live share. In this case, we determined to go with, if, because we are learning Docker, um, my pair and I, we decided to code individually on our machines to kind of wrap our head around it. And here's an example of how that pair programming went. <laughs> Docker Compose app again after you change the HTML. And did you get a warning? In the logs, that means I have to look in the logs because I don't see the error or the warning. We were assigned to work on two Docker projects and we were doing the tasks, the same tasks on machines and on my partner's machine, you know, everything was working fine on my machine for whatever reason, the output was not as expected. So I called in the instructor to see what's going on. And long story short, turns out I discovered a bug in Docker, a bug that was <laughs> reported years, years and years ago. And as I can see, even through the project, we are rewatching videos, tutorials, and so on just to make sure that we understand everything and the information is captured. One constant during these busy days is at 11.15, it's a lunch break. And during this time, I spend time with my daughter. We're going for a walk, we are playing or something like that. It depends on the weather. In this case, we went for a walk and we had a little picnic. We had lunch outside, which was pretty enjoyable. Here is 12.30 at about midday of a day in the life of a coding bootcamp student and here I'm getting back to reality. I'm resuming what I was working before break and in this case it was continued to work on my second Docker project. It was supposed to be with my partner again but he lost internet and I was working by myself and as you can tell I'm using different resources to make sure that I'm solving the project correctly. I will use our homework material that we had to read. I will also watch the lectures. I will reach out also to our TAs in, in case I had questions, as well as Googling stuff using Stack Overflow, just to make sure that I learn everything necessary in regards to that topic. And once that is done, if the project is over or not, at about 4.30 to 5, it's an end of day lecture, questions, clarifications, and so on. Once that is over, um, at about 5 o'clock, I will unplug and go spend time with my family. Eat dinner, a little family and at 8, I'll start to do homework. And here's a snippet of what my day looks like these days. It's pretty packed, but that's what works for me right now. My day ends like anybody else's day by going to sleep. And here I'm sharing with you a few of the sunsets outside my window, which shows you that every single day is different. Yes, the sound goes down, but every single day the sunset is so different. It paints such different pictures and you see different results. Same is true for my day. Some things are the same, but somehow every single day is unique and I get different results from that day. Hopefully this video was interesting and you enjoyed a day in the life of a coding bootcamp student.